it's Jackie. Um, today I want to show you how I make my own colored sugar. Uh, you can buy it in the stores, but like a little tube like this is like four dollars or something. Um, but I get a whole five pound bag of sugar and you know just some gel coloring. Uh, I've seen videos where they use the food coloring colors, um, but it it leaves your sugar all wet, uh, so you have to like set it out and let it dry. But I use gel coloring and right after it, it's dry. So you can use it, my light just blew. You're, you can use it, you know, as soon as you color it. It's great. So let me show you what you'll need. Okay, what you will need, I put two thirds of a cup of sugar into my Ziploc. And you're, I'm using the, this is actually candy coloring. I don't know if my Mommy, camera will focus on this or not. You try it. Um, but this is, I'm going to do blue. And, but I have to use a toothpick when I get it out. So let me see if I can do this with my hand. Hold on just a minute. All right, I had to set you down because I can't do this with um, one hand. So, you will get your color. This is new. I just took the little safety seal off the top. So, oh, let me come down here. I'm having to mix it up. Anyway, I'm going to just, it's going to take me a few minutes, but this color is potent. So, depending on whatever color depth you want, however dark you want it, is how much you're going to use. I'm just going to start with, I'll show you in just a second. So just drop your color over into your sugar. If it's too dark, you can always add extra sugar. Okay, this is actually candy color coloring. Um, so it's actually all gel. It's not, you know, water-based at all. Okay. And you'll just seal your bag up. Now, you want to squeeze all the air out of your bag, so when you're mixing it, it makes it easier. Okay. So you have your color in there. Mine's like stuck on the bag. Um, but there's, there's your little dot of color, and it's gel. Work it in there, and then you just keep on mixing up your color. you get that little spot that's on the bag and your sugar down there and just all I do is just squeeze and kind of pinch and turn squeeze pinch and turn you're gonna see lots of like dark speckles in there and I don't know if my camera will focus on it or not but you just keep on mixing I mean it it takes a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of mixing so, I'm just going to keep mixing, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Well, as you're mixing, um, and you see these little darker dots, just, you know, work that area really good. Look right here in the corner. See how I have a lot of dark? Just keep mixing that with the sugar. Alright, so here is my blue sugar all mixed up. Nice and pretty. I have really bad lighting in my kitchen. It's so bad. But there's my blue. And I have done pink. This is a hot pink. I have done orange. And I have green. So, let me show you the other food coloring that I have. Here's my decorating cabinets. Yay! Alright, this is the other food coloring that I have. These little gel colors. And then of course I have neon orange, purple, yellow, green, blue, red. Did you like my junky messy cabinet? Mm. Alright, so. Alright, but here's my sugars. I think they look really, really good. Blue. Alright. Bye you guys. Okay, I wanted to show you how 
Okay, I wanted to show you the powdered sugar once it's done. I wanted to show you that it is it's completely dry. I mean, there's no wetness whatsoever. I mean, you can just see how it falls off your fingers. It is, and it's ready to use right then and there. So, can you see some of my truffles? See, my little truffle bag? Yay, so cute.